Now, I taught uh, for a number of years at the University of Southern California School of Medicine. I had a joint appointment to the Departments of Human Behavior and Rehabilitation Medicine. And I spent a good bit of time in uh, rehabilitation medicine, looking at everything from uh, uh, burn service, ambulatory care services, uh, to physical therapy uh, and acute injury, chronic injuries, and uh, as you perhaps have read, own chronic pain and headache centers. Subsequent to that, and measurement systems have always been an issue. Pain issues tend to come from asymmetry, uh, and as soon as we can do the proper stretching and the proper exercise, muscle strengthening, so we have balance of muscles, all of those are imperative. Uh, I want to show you now something very simple. We're going to go into a good bit of advanced workout to balance front and back and interior muscle, or interior core I should say, front, back, and all planes of motion. So let's first take a look at planes of motion. So if I stand here, see I have rotation. This is a measurement of my rotational body called transverse plane. Uh, if I add, this is standing, this is measuring my back, I add deflex, this is measuring the front. If I take a step forward, this is the sagittal plane. And if I take a step back, also sagittal plane, but you can see the rotation of my hips. So if I'm walking, if I do a lot of walking, I'm dragging my left side as I walk, and then my right. So I have drag in walking. You'll notice that as I stand here face on, my right shoulder's down, my right hip is up, and look at how my, you can, if you look at my left hand versus my right hand here, you'll notice you see more of the back of my left hand than you do my right hand. Joseph is in, one of our right balance professionals in Shanghai told me about what's called finger sleeves. Now these finger sleeves have a ridge on them, very important. But you'll notice this one has a ridge. And you'll notice I've marked my hand here in red. And I have actually a black line, but I'm going to look at the red. I'm going to put this finger sleeve on my little finger. I could, but I've marked a couple of fingers. You can put this on any finger, by the way on that first pad up, um, and then I've marked in black this knuckle and that knuckle. I'm going to put it on my index finger on my right hand, and again there's a ridge on these finger sleeves, and that ridge needs to be what's applying the pressure to that knuckle. So I want to make sure I get right on that knuckle, and then uh, I have the blue or the second pad up. You know if you're a right balance professional or you've been through the training or you're a student, you know that that second pad up impacts my lower core. So this is pretty simple. You can use uh, micropore, you can use any, you can use micropore tape. I use these when I work out because they're simple. So if you're walking now, I want you to notice, I take a step forward, I'm good. I take a step back, I'm good. We used to think that this, these finger sleeves lasted a brief period of time. Not true. If you're going in the gym to work out, I'd encourage you to tape your hands the way I've used these finger sleeves. Finger sleeves are, can be a bit bulky. If you're an athlete and you want to recruit a particular region, you've got to, you have to use all three finger sleeves. We'll talk about how to do the exercise then use the finger sleeve that will recruit different regions. And we've done that, for example, with uh, now embarking on research with Parkinson's with uh, one of our right balance professionals who's a neurologist, Dr. Robert Giambetti. You've probably seen some of his research. And it's, out of, it's a personal interest. This is a personal interest. This is how I got into it. My college roommate has Parkinson's, wanted to see what I can do. I will attach in the discussion section a video of him doing the exercise and what impact these finger sleeves have. But right now, just know that I stand tall, now I add knee flex, and my hips are square. Standing tall, they're square. Take a step forward, doesn't matter what stance, take a step back, and I stay square. 
So when you're working out, if you're just going for a walk, wear the finger snips. So now I have a hiking and walking stick I use in hiking in the mountains. So if I take a step forward, this grip size, when I have the finger sleeves on, is going to fit. This actually fits my hand, but um, there was a time, my father passed in 97, and I used to fit his canes to his handle size. That made a huge change, and we didn't know about uh, taping the power spots of each hand. So if you're working out, if you're working with an elderly population, if you are a runner, if you uh, just go for walks, if you're working out in the gym, you're lifting weights, just wear the finger sleeves. It'll square up your body. So take a look now at my body. Notice in, from face on, notice how my hands hang exactly the same. Look at my left hand, or my left hand and my right hand here. My shoulders, my hips are now pretty darn level as are my shoulders as you look at me. So this, these pressure points, if you will, uh, we call them power spots and we use them in uh, athletics are extremely important and to have them on the proper hand. They'll last for hours if you do. You can now go out, walk, do whatever, know that you're in balance. You're going to put less stress on the body, less stiffness and pain when you're done. So if you're in rehab, great to use in teaching uh, retraining gait. Whatever you're working on, extremely important. Thank you for watching.